What's up guys? This is a quick video on how to fit a 30k Bluetooth communication system to a helmet. So I've actually got a AGV helmet and I haven't actually got the cutouts for the speakers or anything so I've had a bit of a nightmare trying to fit it but I have found a really good solution to fit it which might help other people as well. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to strip my GoPro off and uh, take my microphone off and we'll take it from there. If you want to know how I fitted my GoPro, I have done a video on it. So if you need any information on that, you can check that out on my channel. So I'm just going to quickly strip this off. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip all the padding off from inside. Just going to take these cheap pads out. out now so like I said I've, I have had a nightmare trying to fit it in I didn't want to stick it in because as you can see my cheek pads are pretty thick on this helmet and uh, there was no way I'm going to get the sound through and I could have stuck the extendable pads as well to bring it closer but it wouldn't have made no difference at all so I'll quickly show you how I've sussed that a way to do it so right that's out I'll just take this out so right that's all I can strip out of my helmet and uh, I don't know if you can see but I'll just take this microphone out from my GoPro so it's out of the way I'll fit that back in later So right, like I said, if you can see in there, I'll do my best to show you. I've got no cutouts for my speakers. And if I do fit my speakers in here, with the uh, cheek pads, you can see how thick they are. There's no way I'm gonna get that sound through. And it's gonna be connected on the back of here. And like I said, there's no point putting the extension pads or anything because I'm not gonna get any sound through at all. So right, I'm going to quickly fit it and show you what I sussed out and uh, what I think is the best way for me, which might help you lot out. It saves you using any stickers or any extension pads as well. So right, I'll just get this open. So right, this is the clamp itself, and I'm going to start off from here. Slide that back a bit. So I'm just going to undo these wires. So right, the next thing I'm going to do is get the Allen key out. Keep 
we've got all these accessories in the bag what you normally use but um, the way I'm doing it I won't actually need any of these I'm going to carry on using the original boom mic because that's supposed to be the best back mic to use So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the clamp off from the back. So once it's loose you've got a gap like that. So right we're going to fit this on, on the left hand side. And you want to work out where exactly you want to fit it with the microphone. Don't just go and clamp it up and everything. Just put it to it. I've already done my markings and worked out where exactly I want it. So where I've marked it is right there where I want it fitted. I don't know if you can see that there. So how I sussed that where I wanted it is I placed the mic in its place like so. And that's how I decided where I wanted to have my microphone and that's where I had to have my mount or else it would have been a bit awkward. So right, the first thing I'm going to do is tighten this clamp up now. I'm going to tighten that clamp up like I said. So I'm going to quickly tighten that up. It's a bit awkward because I can't really see it because I'm trying to get it into the camera position. But like I said, uh, once you've decided where you're going to put it, make sure you mark it like I have now and uh, fit it in that place itself so right just checking my markings yep that's where I want it it did slightly move before so I've had to loosen it and uh, tighten it back up now so just tighten it up and uh, don't completely tighten it up just get it tight and then make sure it's in its right place once more before you finally tighten it up Make sure it's pushed down as far as it'll go as well. I'm really sorry guys, I'm doing the best I can to actually show you while I'm doing it. But it's mainly the speakers what you want to see, but I'm just trying to get everything in for you. So right, this clamp is more or less tightened now. I just want it in place so it's not moving and rattling about while I'm showing you. So right that's tightened now and that's in, in the place where I want it if you can see that. I'm going to feed the speaker wires from underneath. So that's the speaker wires in there where they want to run if you can see that. So right we've got the speakers inside. The shortest one goes on the left hand side and the longest one goes on the other side. So what I'll do is I'll fit the left, left one first. So this is the speaker itself. I'm just going to take the sticker off it. So normally you can put the foam pad on it to protect it and cover it, cover your ears as well. So it doesn't rub against your ears or anything like that, but you don't actually need this. I don't actually need any of the accessories to uh, fit it. 
So this is my cheek pad for this side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this is my cheek, sorry. This is my cheek pad for this side over here. I'll make sure I can get it in properly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pad off from this side. And this is what it's like underneath. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit my speaker right there, if you can see that. I hope you can see that. I've already checked this and this is the ideal place for my, right next to my ear. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cover this back up. Uh -huh. And then there, uh, that's the wrong one. Make sure the wires are out of the way. And I'm gonna put this clamp back through it. Hope I'm getting this in. So right, I've uh, more or less got that in place. I'm just gonna pull the other side speaker wire out as far as I can, so I can run that across. So right, once that's in place, I'm gonna wedge the cheap pad back in. So there you go, the pad's back in, and the actual speaker, which you can't see, but it's right there underneath my where my ear is going to be plus it's covered as well it's not going to rub against my ear i don't need no extension pads to bring it forward that's just perfect like i said i've spent a lot of time trying to suss out the best way and this is the best way for me so right now we're going to fit the other side so they do tell you to run the speaker from uh, from around the top because it makes a better aerial for the fm radio so I'm just going to take this sticker off as well. Don't pull the wire. Because you don't want to damage the speaker wire and then it won't work. I'm going to get the other cheek pad. I'm going to get the other cheek pad. Sorry, I'm just making sure you can see it. I'm going to strip the form back again. And as you can see, this is where it is. And... Uh, I'm going to fit it right there and it sticks to it. I don't need the Velcro or anything. It stays in, in, in its place as well. So right, that's that. I'm going to cover that back up again. I'll run the wire. Just make sure that's right first. Yep, I'm going to run the wire to the back there. I'm sorry guys if uh, I'm not getting everything in the picture. So right, that's that side done. I'm gonna put the helmet clamp through again. Is it the right way around? Yes it is, I'm gonna pull that through. Just being a bit awkward this one. Right, that's it, I've got that one through. And I'm gonna fit that in there. Right guys, that's the, both both the speakers fitted now and you can just see the wire running there. And I'm just gonna fit the wire into the back of there. Seems to be a bit tight. I must have got some of the wires stuck down here. So I'm gonna get some of that wire out and see what the problem is. The wire itself seems to be a bit short. There you go, I've got the wire itself. So the wire itself in my helmet, I can't do it to the top of there, it seems to be too short. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna to have to run it to the back of here instead. 
So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to change the directions on the wire so where it's running. So I'm just stripping that back. That one's not too bad actually. Just make sure I can get that wire out there. Just going to wedge that into place. back to this side and uh, make sure I pull the wire out to the back of it instead of the top of it so I'm surprised the uh, wire is a bit short actually I can run the wire that way we'll see if that makes a difference so right place this back in Lock it into place. So I've actually made it long enough to fit through the top actually. It's just where it was positioned. So right, yeah, I can fit it that way now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit the rest of the padding and then the job should be a good one clip this last one into place there you go right just need to make sure that the wires are under there and they're covered and there you go if you can see that all the wires have been covered up you can't see anything now right you're good to go guys right the microphone itself what I do is I'll just push it down here like this a bit and I'll bend it into place how I want it all you want to do is make sure that your microphone itself I don't know if you can see that but your microphone has to be facing the right way that has to be facing towards your mouth if it's facing the other way you won't get any proper sound so make sure that is uh, facing that way if you can see that all I need to do is put the the uh, wind sponge on it or the dead cat it's not called a dead cat is it it's uh, the uh, wind buffer or whatever onto the microphone but that's it guys that's it totally fitted now this is the side of it and I'll just fit it to it now and there you go it's fitted to it now and that's perfect make sure you haven't got any massive gaps down the sides because the last thing you want to do is be riding down the road and it'll start making a whistling noise or a hissing noise and stuff you know where the wood cuts into it so make sure when you're putting the clamp on make sure you push the clamp in and up and then tighten it up as far as it'll go and it should be right after that and it feels solid so right guys that's that connected and uh, like I said the speakers are there in the side here right next to my ears and they're covered up and everything and like I said you don't need no extensions or anything like that so right guys I, I know it was a bit long and uh, I hope this helps somebody out who's uh, having problems fitting it like I did so right guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye